Libras. What's up? Welcome to Black Madonna HP Table Etiquettes. We are getting ready to get into this commit or dismiss vibe because it is one 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 today okay it's january 11th it's time for new beginnings period point blank um you know why continue to bring in last year into the new year you know so you know if love really worked like that it'd be so easy like yeah it's january let's get rid of the past <laughs> no it doesn't work like that does it but um, either way, Libra, let's go ahead and hop into this energy, see what's going on, see what you need to know. Beloved, what's the, the energy for Libra and their person? Should they commit or dismiss? What's up, beloved? What's going on? <laughs> Every time I say that little line, it's one, one, one. Beloved pulls out this car like, yeah, put one more on it. So it's a twin flame connection, huh? 1111 is a important number for twin flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. So you're definitely dealing with your twin flame, especially if you were drawn to this message. Yeah, this is your twin. Here go the yin yang card. Like the yin yang symbol, twin flames contain the aspects of each other character within themselves. So yeah libra uh usually i'll be like okay you know go ahead you know make your choice either you can take a seat wait it out hope this person get their stuff together or you can put on that little black dress go get your beard maintenance and uh get back out there but guess god is gonna help you recognize the signs and miracles oh my goodness this this is one of the toughest connections my, my heart goes out to you <laughs> Twin flames, it sounds real good, don't it? Oh my goodness. Has this been a thing since the Ice Ages? I wonder when was the first time someone said Twin Flame and stood on it. Like, honestly, like, I never heard of it until I met a person. It's like, really? This is, this is such thing as another you in a male's body? Like, I knew there was Adam and Eve, but you mean it's a me and a he? <laughs> Either way, let's go ahead and get into this message sleeper because, yeah, I know it's been rough for either you or your person. Whoever is the runner, oh my goodness, because I don't think the chaser even experiences the dark night of the soul, you know? But let's go ahead and get into the messages. Beloved, what's the message you have for Libra and this person? What is the message? Should they commit or dismiss? And you know what's crazy? With the twin flame connection, can you really dismiss it? So how you gonna get rid of yourself? I'm just saying, how you get rid of yourself, Rita? But let's see. What's the message for Rita, please? Oh my goodness, Libra. It really is a twin flame connection. Oh Lord have mercy. Here you guys are with this divine connection that beloved has ordained for you guys to come together at this time in life and, you know, do the Romeo and Juliet thing, which is not a good example, but... It's a love card here. And I'm wondering, <laughs> Libra. I'm silent because I'm trying to figure out if there's another connection here. It doesn't feel like it, but I was searching deep inside, like, so that's another person. It doesn't feel like it, okay? But here you are, Libra, the queen of arrows. You got to you gotta be a little um, more sensitive with this person. I don't know why the need to say that because this person is going through a lot of battles and stuff in 2023 a lot of things are coming against them they are going through 
like a semi awakening. You know how pain awakens that ass, right? <laughs> like pain will wake you up, <laughs> like from your slumber. Like, oh, I was just having a good time. Ooh, what is this I'm feeling right now? Oh my goodness. <laughs> but love, it really is watching over this connection with this Prince of Arrows card. And the Prince of Arrows says, Cupid, this is such a, a divine partnership. Armoral and Dover. Interesting, I said Romeo and Juliet because this is Romeo and Juliet. Armoral and Dover. Something in French. Somebody here could be from a different country or their twin flame is in a different country. Their twin flame could be Indian, West Indian, Jamaican mine. <laughs> but, um... Why does beloved want me to tell you, Libra, that you need to learn to be more submissive? Um, don't take this offensively, but she has a veil over her mouth. You know, in Easternized cultures, the veil is symbolic. And I know it started from, from biblical times, supposedly. But the um, veil is symbolic of a woman's mouth and them not speaking like in public or to men or you know what I mean like it's like a way to silence the woman um that's what I'm getting for that Libra you see how the man is sitting back there and I feel like it's like be quiet and learn mm, whatever but um I feel like your person's going to be in this energy of trying to figure out themselves, figure out the world. They're trying to get out of this energy for 2023. So maybe they're going through the dark night of the soul. Maybe they're the ones that's going through all the the tough stuff. They're definitely, they're definitely, um, it's so weird. It's a twin flame connection because they're trying to block out their emotions, the passion they feel. They act like they don't want it, but they do. Your person is the runner. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I get this energy of somebody running from their true feelings. Don't want to feel. If you didn't watch my reading last night, watch that reading. Because I could have swore I said that this person is afraid of the way they feel. I could have swore I said it. But check check that out. My um, Libra reading from last night. But let's see, <laughs> beloved, what is the overall energy for Libra and their twin flame? I should have had my twin flames prepared for Union Deck out. Dang. You can find those in my SD shop, Libra, since you are in a twin flame connection. But um, what's the... Thank you. Beloved got jokes. That's why I love God so much. He got jokes. It said romance. Cupid arrow strikes. And remember, I was like, oh, Beloved's watching over this connection. And who is this? Cupid. I'm telling you, Beloved be having jokes. I love it. I be catching it too. <laughs> Thank you, God. All right. So let's ask Beloved a couple of questions. I love that he's in a good mood. Beloved. What's the, um, what do we want to know? Will this person commit to Libra in 2023? Will Libra and this person be in a committed relationship in 2023? Ooh. It's going to be a long journey, baby. Anytime Reconsider came out, that's telling you, uh, yeah, it might not be this year because I, I think that car is in here within a year, isn't it? Within a few months, yep. Yep, there's some better, all that type of stuff. So, um, should, should Libra, and good luck on the answer to this question, should Libra, uh, what do I want to say? Should Libra... 
Shalibra. Why am I having a brain fart? Oh my goodness. Shalibra, commit or dismiss. Good luck with uh, dismissing this person. Should Libra stay or should she go? Should she stay committed to this? Should Libra stay committed to this relationship? Should Libra stay committed to this relationship, beloved? This twin flame connection. Unlikely. Helpful people. And be assertive. This That's because of the twin flame connection. It's hard. Like, man, it's, it's definitely a connection for those with strong mental. It's definitely a challenging, mentally challenging um, scenario, especially for the one who discovers and have to go through the dark night of the soul. And uh, so, yeah. So, Libra, I don't know with this helpful people and be assertive. I mean, it's unlikely. But, you know, with God on your side or, you know, these helpful people, you know, anything is possible. But speak your mind. Be assertive. I don't know why this person wants to silence you, but speak your mind, beloved. But either way, Libra, that's the message I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Definitely check out the description box below. I do offer personal reading tarot cards. You can find those in my SD shop at Black Madonna HP. Um, also, I do do tarot card creations for my subscribers. So if you have some tarot ideas and you want to bring them into fruition, definitely email me at blackmadonnahp at gmail.com. Other than that... Don't forget to check out the shop tab for Zodiac t-shirts and sweaters. And I'll talk to you next time, Libra. Love, peace, and soul. Take care, Libra.